So I guess Kendrick Lamar hyped Rumble's head up to diss Ralphie and the Stink Team or the ex Stink Team members. And things got very serious very fast. Now as Poetic Flacco might say, this just started a war in LA. Now Rumble made some allegations towards some Stink Team members. The Stink Team members made some allegations toward him. And they even pulled up on his block expeditiously. They said they pulled five to ten foreigns on his block. We got ten foreigns pulled up on a nigga block, nigga. Now he dissed like six people. So I'm going to play what he said by person and then play that person's response. Now let's start off with OTM and Blue Pesos and the other dude Duffy. So basically what he said about Blue Pesos first is he's trying to be Draco and what he actually needs to do is get off of his testicles. Blue Pesos will never be Draco. Get up, bitch. Come on, you got to be more practical. Just be yourself. You don't got to be on testicles. I see. And if you know Blue Pesos, this is like kind of facts. You get what I'm saying? Like... If you go on his story right now, if you go on his Instagram, bro, like he's quoting Draco, he's rolling his eyes like Draco, he's flowing like Draco, you feel me? He's, he's Draco. Like, he's not Draco, but like he's he's trying to be Draco, obviously. But he got bars though, and it's working for him, so I'm not knocking it, bro. I don't know. I'm just saying what I see, gang. But then he said, I think Jace Dempsey is Duffy. I honestly don't know. But he mentioned Jace Dempsey is getting checks from Barney. Jace Dempsey got Barney on payroll. And if you don't know Duffy, he was the child actor. He did like a, a, I think it was a commercial for Domino's or Papa John's. And he did another commercial for Nike. I think somebody said he was mentioned in Barney, but I, honestly, I can't find that. Now, this is when Rumble makes a heavy allegation toward OTM and basically says that they were touching a 16-year-old. House party, it's a concert in the back. Heard that girl was 16 and y'all was grabbing on her ass. All that girl was 16 and y'all was grabbing on her ass. All bad. Hope it didn't get no crazier than that. All so a couple hours later, Duffy and Blue Pesos, they released a snippet. Like, they already responded. It's like they were already in the studio, like, already dissing him back which is impressive like i'm not gonna lie like i was impressed by that i could definitely respect that but not only did they instantly reply with the song they instantly shot the video in his neighborhood now i guess these are some projects that he used to claim or that his neighborhood used to claim like because you know he's a he uh i don't even want to say the words because they demonetize my channel he 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 claims a neighborhood that uses a blue rag you get what I'm saying? And I guess when they pulled up, like, all the members from his neighborhood, I guess they were, like, had better things to do. Like, hopefully they were taking care of their kids or something. But, you know, they weren't outside. Like, they weren't on their block, I guess. I don't know. We in San Pedro, nigga. We in your hood, nigga, with five foreigns out, nigga. <laughs> well, yeah, gang business. Yeah. Where, where niggas at, though? Remember, we outside, nigga. Don't you be over here, little bro? These your projects, nigga? Huh? This the motherfucking tankers, nigga. These your projects, nigga? <laughs> this way, this way, homie, you pulling up GLEs in your projects, nigga. We this your shit? This little familiar, son, son? I know you don't be over here, you feel me? We'll come to your shit before you, but it's good. Nigga. These your projects, nigga? <laughs> this, way, this way, your homies be kicking it out and shit? We got 10 foreigns put up on a nigga block, nigga. Niggas wouldn't dare. I know you don't be over here. You feel me? We're coming you to your shit. city before you, but it's good. You shit. Niggas know what's going on. Niggas know what the truth is. Like, let them know. Yeah, you shit. shit. They wouldn't dare. Yeah. Mashed up. Yeah, you know You know what happened. If it, yeah, you shit. You shit. You see Schwaz. You see the other homies. You see the foreign coops. Yeah, you see it. Boop, 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 boop. Now, on top of them pulling up to his block, they also addressed the allegations of touching a 16-year-old, kind of, by saying, I used to bump his music till I found out he was touching kids. Well, if you was really from the gang, then why you ain't get a boat piece? It was cool till we found out you was touching kids. Right. Now, if you guys don't know, this is originally a Draco bar. So, they basically took this from Draco and are kind of implying that Draco was saying this about Rimble. I don't know that to be true. I don't think anybody knows that to be true. And if I'm not mistaken, Draco 
and Rumble were on good terms before he passed. So I honestly don't. I, I, I have no idea about that. So now I'm going to get into the part where Rumble mentioned Ralphie. Now, unless you've never heard of Ralphie, you would know that Draco and Ralphie are brothers, right? They're blood brothers. And in the song, Rumble says that I've been talking to Draco like, damn, why you leave me here with Ralphie? Back died. I ain't been happy. Been talking to Draco like, why you leave me here with Ralphie? Remember they then after this he refers to the video of Draco's passing but this nigga Ralphie throwing kicks kid. they running laps what type of buster shit is this how many I'm not gonna play it here I'm not gonna play that video in the video in defense of his brother Ralphie was trying to kick someone and then people was trying to say that he was running or that everybody was running so yeah that's what Rumble was referring to now Ralphie responded but Ralphie right now, he's on tour. So he's in Miami at the moment. And he posted on Twitter and Instagram. But first, I'm going to go through what he posted on Twitter. On Twitter, he was basically making fun of Rambo's outfit. He's like, bro, look at the do-rag you're wearing. Like, bro, you look like Nelly, bro. Like, what are you doing? You're wearing, like, creased up dickies. Like, with the off like you look like you're about to go to your first day of school, bro. Like, what? this is not how a rapper dresses. Then on Instagram, he posted, who got a studio in Miami? So he was looking for a studio. Then I kid you not, two hours later, he posted a snippet. So just like Blue Pesos and them, he instantly responded. And he, I actually think he responded even faster. If you want to listen to that snippet, you could, uh, you could just go to his Instagram and check it out. Basically, he was just clowning Rambo for his outfit again. He was saying that he got alopecia. That's why he's wearing Nelly's do-rag. And then he said that the essays, like a Mexican gang, they ran Rambo out of his neighborhood. Like, that's why Rambo doesn't go to his neighborhood no more is because the Mexicans ran him away. Like, he, he's scared of the essays. Then the next person that I'm going to talk about is K7, the finesser. Now, Rambo dissed him too. And basically what he said is that... K7 is dusty and that he's musty and he simply just cannot respect a dusty musty person. All I know about K7, he look musty. You niggas dusty. I can't respect that. And then after this, he said that K7 was also fat. K7 need to lose some weight. That nigga feel like Faison. Ain't hey, fat cuz. That ain't. So he called K7 dusty, musty, fat. And then K7 responded on his story basically by just saying, Hey, bro, like, you me you you messed up for mentioning my name. Like, you should have left me out of this. And then K7, after this, he was seen shooting the video with Blue Pesos and them, OTM and them. He was seen shooting the video with them, but he did not go with them to San Pedro. This was on Adams and La Brea, which is, like, mid-city area, like, not really South Central. It's, like, mid-city, like, right next to South Central. But this area right here, where they're at specifically, this, this intersection... It's kind of in between a lot of different neighborhoods. The schoolyards, the boulevards, the 20s, the, the city stones. It's like, it's a lot of different neighborhoods there. You don't know who might be passing by. So, so it is kind of bold to post your location as you're there at this specific spot. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like I said, they posted their location. And guess who said they pulled up? Guess. I just want you guys to take a random guess. Big Sad, Big Sad 1900 went live and he said that he pulled up to this gas station on Adams and La Brea. He said that everybody ran. Well, he said K7 ran. Where you at? Come back. This nigga, hey, come back. K7 come back. Where you going? <laughs> that nigga pulled that nigga pulled out and turned his camera off. Talk about I'm right here. Stop, you fucking cap. This nigga cap. This nigga shooting a video at Chevron on Adams and La Brea and thought nobody knew where he was at. I pulled up. This nigga left. <laughs> hey, this shit funny. Hey, the homie called me. He said, hey. He said, I think them niggas are shooting a video right now on Adams and La Brea at the Chevron. <laughs> and I DM that nigga. I said, hey, stay right there. I'm pulling up, nigga. That nigga turned his camera off. Nigga jumped in the car and left, nigga. Tell me I'm lying, K7. Tell me, niggas know what the fuck going on. Yeah. Yeah, gang of niggas know what the fuck going on. Yeah, we about to fuck their head up. Yeah, from San Pedro, nigga. Tell me, yeah.
Yeah, I was trying to get the fuck going on. Yeah. Yeah, gang of niggas know what the fuck going on. Yeah, we about to fuck their head up. Yeah, for San Pedro, nigga. Feel me? Yeah. Three years. Big Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay, tell them we throw that shit on every day, yeah, nigga. Man, we, like it's we, like we, we religiously. Was nigga, it oh, it was nobody, nigga. bro. Turn into a track meet bro, 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 we was trying, you feel me? We, we was on some OTM Olympic shit. Like niggas wasn't, like niggas wasn't, you feel me? It was drives and bitch out there. No pieces. No pieces. 10K grill in his mouth. Hey, let him know. Hey, let him know. Hey, let him know, though, bees. Niggas wouldn't dare pull up over here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you know what's going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, like, oh, yeah. oh, yeah, you know, we back, back in commission. Back with the gear. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, you might have did something for... You seen us on live, uh, Jay? Yeah, you see gang in the car, young swaz, baby swaz, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah, oh, yeah. Hey. Hey. Now, what Big Sad to me... Now, what Big Sad said doesn't make sense to me because it's like... K7 was with like six, seven people, so it's like, bro, why would you run or why would you leave? Like, what is he gonna do? He's gonna come and he's only gonna come for you? Like, nah, obviously everybody's gonna be with you, so it's like, I don't, I just don't see him running. But uh, let me know what y'all think about this whole situation down in the comments. Like, Rambo bringing up Draco and saying that he's been talking to Draco in the afterlife, that was too far to me. Like, how you gonna say you talking to somebody's dead brother and then be like, why well, you leave me here with your brother? Like, what, bro? Like, that that was just a little bit distasteful to me. But uh, let me know what y'all think down in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. Yeah, pop y'all shit. Hey, let him know. Hey, let him know. Hey, let him know. Hey, let him know. Nigga, this ain't San Pedro, nigga. Hey, we with the real locs, though. We with the real locs. No B. No B. Where we at, nigga? Yeah, we on the west side.